and gentlemen, it is match day. We're here at the Al Janoub Stadium, 22 kilometers south of Doha, the Qatari capital, for Australia's final group stage game against Uzbekistan. Now really today, it's more or less a dead rubber. Australia, they've already qualified for the round of 16, potentially in top spot. But that is what's still at stake today. The Uzbeks, their qualification, while guaranteed, has not been guaranteed at the top of the group, which obviously helps them get an easier path further into the tournament. So we're looking at a battle for first place today. There's also an opportunity for Graham Arnold to test out some of the other players that he's had sitting on the bench or coming off the bench so far in the games against India and Syria. So here we are, the Al Janoub behind me. Arguably one of the most architecturally impressive stadiums that was built for the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Its capacity, just over 40,000, I believe it's 44,000 to be exact. As you can see, it's been built and designed to the shape of a pearl to be sitting in the desert. A very, very impressive stadium. How are you, dude? I'm good. How are you doing? Here with Shadrach. He's back. He's here for the game. Yeah. Shadrach and I, we met at the, uh, the FIFA year. World Cup. Yeah, when we year. appeared on BN Sports, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We had that big <laughs> appearance on BN Sports. Shadrach, um, you're not an Uzbek fan, you're not really a Socceroos fan, so you're a neutral here from an impartial perspective. Okay. Who do you think is going to come out on top today? Well, Australia, of course, but also Uzbekistan now since, you know, if they did make a score with the India, actually, for me, I was betting it to be a draw, I was expecting it to be a draw, and then yeah. they surprised me, they did beat the, the Indians, so maybe today the they will try not to be like zero, maybe two zero, maybe they'll score. They make a score. I, okay. Yeah, I, I believe that. Give me a score prediction. What do you think the score prediction is going to be? Uh, maybe two one. Yeah. Two one Australia. Yeah. Surprise! In the Al Janoub now, and we've actually got more Australia fans than Uzbek fans, which is the first in any trip that I've been to Qatar to watch the Socceroos play. Normally, we're outnumbered, but as you can see here, unless people really like the Australian flag, which they give out complimentary out the front, we've actually got a few more fans today. But not really expecting uh, the biggest crowd here. There were still tickets available today. So, hopefully, we at least get a good game. I'm here with Amber now, Socceroos fan. Amber, yes. have you travelled out here just for the, the tournament or do you live out here? Uh, my best friend Steph does, so I'm visiting Steph. Good timing. Oh, brilliant. Great timing. I find that a lot of people, that they come to the games because they're in transit or, you know, like maybe they're, they're working out here or something yeah. like that. So, that's good to hear. But tell me, what are your thoughts today? Do you think Australia is going to win? They're already through out of the group. Yeah. They don't have to win, but it would be nice to finish top. What yeah. do you think? I think they're going to win 3-0. 3-0? Yeah. And, and what about you? Oh. I reckon 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Yeah. You know what? I was going to go with a, a draw just because there was there's something to play for in Uzbekistan. They're not quite through yet, but I've seen the lineup. I'm pretty impressed. And I think Australia uh, are going to get that 2-1 score. I'm going to back that as well. 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one to the Socceroos. Today will be a fantastic positive boost for Australian football after what's been a pretty disappointing week. We've seen redundancies throughout the A-League and reports of, of the domestic competition hemorrhaging money. Quite a, a sad state of affairs even today, the announcement that Camera may not be joining the, the A-League next season.
Pakistan, not so Australia. Okay. Thank you. I'm the champion of Saudi Arabia, inshallah. It's good enough. I'm Saudi, I'm the champion. So we've Australia already been through the, the group stage. It's been a, a good chance for Graham Arnold to test some of the, the players that have been coming off the bench in a starting role. We've got Riley McGree, Yankee, Keanu Bacchus, Nathaniel Atkinson all coming into the side in their respective positions. So there's a chance that the Socceroos may even play better today than they've done in their opening two games because when these players have come off the bench, they've looked pretty impressive. The, the sun is so bad in here that most people are, are turning the flag into makeshift head scars. But um, so yeah, if we don't get any goals, at least we're going to get a nice tan. At least for me anyway. I'm not sure anyone else wants that. You don't want the tan? No, no, fair enough. There's a, a small chance it could end up being given here. It's being referred to VAR, which means it's not conclusive. If not given, it's still nil-nil. Looks like someone, I can't really tell because of the sun glare, was straight through. And they got dragged down despite being basically one on one at that point if they they got the ball and a lot of the soccer East players are asking for a red card here. <laughs> Pretty long wait there it was Martin Boyle that, that got through, but uh, after about four or four minutes, the bar decided no, stuck with the yellow card. Something's being checked here, and with the sun and the amount of people in the area there, I have no idea what, but I imagine it might have been a pool or, or I don't think a handball on the way through. <laughs> Ref's gone over to the monitor, and you know when it gets to this point, it very rarely doesn't get given. It looks like it could be a penalty to the Socceroos. <laughs> penalty to Australia! Martin Boyle is going to take this. record is, is unreal. The, the actual decision itself, very, very contentious. The foul on Yengi barely looked like he touched him. So, Uzbekistan going to feel very hard done by. Okay, and with Adraziz, the uh, Saudi Uzbekistan fan. Yes. The score is 1-0 to Australia. Yes. The penalty. But when we saw the replay, it looked very soft. Yes, it's a, it's a, it's a correct penalty. But, uh, this is do, you, do you think it should have been a penalty or yes, no? Yes, yes, yes. Do you think yes? A, a, a real penalty, not a penalty. Because uh, hard, hand touch. It's okay. A, it's clear, very clear. And so now we're going into the second half. Australia 1-0 up. What do you think? The score will stay the same or who's going to win? 
I hope I hope it's Pakistan as well. But I think it's Australia very strong and maybe one to one, two to two. I don't know. So half time's just passed here. Socceroos one nil up. Can't say it was too deserved really, and but saying that if Begstar didn't offer much in the first half either, very little chances aside from the offside Yangi goal prior to that. Foul on the very edge of the area for his Begstar. This will probably be, um, be the best chance of the half so far, that's for sure. Can't tell from this angle, but. It is being checked. No goal. It's still one nil to the Socceroos. Fortunately. But elsewhere in this group, Syria are currently 1 0 up against India. But with the goal difference, Uzbekistan still maintaining that second place spot. So, no risk at the moment to actually either team going out because some of the third place teams do go through to the next round of the competition based on how many points they've got. To be honest, if anyone's going to get out jumped in the Socceroos defence, it's going to be Aziz Bayic, the smallest defender we've got. And he uh, got towered over for that equaliser. Very good goal oh, by Tugan Bayov. Tugan Now what that means is if Uzbekistan get another goal, they will go top and completely uh, derail Australia's plans of getting an easy path towards the final of this competition. Full time at the Al Janoub here and it finishes Australia 1, Uzbekistan 1. Both teams progressing to the next round, the round of 16 out of the group stage now. And Australia, they'll be... Just got stopped to do my interview for Qatar Television at 10.30, of course. They've seen Down Under Ball. No wonder they, they want us on the channel. But as I was saying before, there could be a risk if Japan do not pull their fingers out when they play tomorrow and, and get a victory or, or at least a draw that, um, that they could end up staying in third place, going through and then meeting Australia in the next round. And the last thing you want to meet in the round of 16 is, is Japan. Because um, if they start playing properly, then they tend to always have our number.